You're useless. You're pathetic. You're idiotic. What you do is really, really stupid. You have the brain cells of an amoeba. You're worse than the cockroach who's living down there. You know what you are? You're a house officer. That's all you are. You're pathetic. Please don't show your face here anymore. Why do you waste your parents' money? Why did you waste five years of your life and become this? A piece of shit. Hmm? Do you think that was intense? Do you think that was nice? To me, it wasn't. This is a common thing that happens every single day in Malaysia where senior doctors, whether they're medical officers, specialists, consultants, professors, they degrade the shit out of you because they are just that much higher in the rank. When they say the bigger boys bully the smaller ones, that's exactly the same thing. They're big bullies. And you know what? You can't even say a word because you're just a house officer already a medical officer, you're just a medical officer. If you're a specialist, you're just a specialist. Consultant already, you're not the director of health. You're not the boss of the hospital. Why? My question is why? Why does it have to be that way here in Malaysia? Why must hierarchy be the definition of workplaces? You may be saying that this isn't in Malaysia only. It's the whole world. I agree with you. But why so predominant in this country? I don't know. To me, what I've been told is that it's because last time, that's what they went through. They went through hell. Sleep under the bed. That's all they do. Or, you know, gotta wake up at 1 a.m., start doing rounds, get scolded across the whole place. And so they carry that same stupid attitude up till today. And I'm telling you, it's really stupid. If you gotta shout to deliver what you wanna say, or you gotta curse to say what you mean, clearly, you do not have much intellect right here. You may say, oh, who are you to say that? I'm just a normal person who has to listen to this kind of things, and it doesn't make sense. Are you gonna tell me that that's the way you wanna be taught? Are you telling me that that's the only way that things can be done? No, right? I brought this topic up today because I saw one house officer, this girl was literally tearing or at the brink of crying out loud right in front of the patient. That doctor, whether medical officer or specialist, just destroyed her right there. And you must think that she deserves it. Probably she didn't do a good job. And I agree, probably she deserves a little reprimanding for what she did or what she didn't do. Maybe she wasn't uh, just with what she uh, prescribed. Maybe she wasn't up to the mark of telling a history. But I could hear from 20 feet away, all right? I was just seeing my patient. And I could hear from 20 feet away exactly word for word what the guy was saying. And it wasn't nice. I'm sharing because when you do that as a senior doctor or whomever you are, Yes, you're conveying your message that that person is crap, understood. But you are indirectly telling the patient, hey, don't listen to this doctor because this person is a junior doctor. There's no reason for you to believe anything he says because he's a piece of crap. And that's what happens. Whether you believe it or not, Patients will never look at a doctor the same way, especially that one patient, because that patient would probably think, oh, you know what? This doctor wasn't so good. The specialist said he's doing a lousy job, doesn't know what he's doing. And when the doctor comes and examines that patient, the patient will be uncomfortable. Whether you believe it or not, that's really the truth. Imagine if you're the patient and you just saw that. I would feel the same way. And that's what happens in a modern environment where people only demand to see specialists or consultants or professors. And that's only your own doing. 
I think there are many better ways to do things. If that person or whomever really requires um, a bit of a scolding or um, reprimanding, you probably could just say, I think you shouldn't do that in the future or uh, you need to buck up in what you're doing because this is um, unprofessional or probably if you can't do things like that you have to curse you have to school at least do it in closed doors take the doctor or whomever it is the nurse or the medical assistant and do it somewhere else because when you do it in front of clients all right and this uh, goes for any job if the boss scolds the junior in front of clients clients lose that trust and yes the clients still come back because they believe in the specialists they believe in the boss but you know you're never giving that person a forefront to move on to upgrade themselves at the end of the day these junior doctors will become seniors and they will carry that same stupid attitude that they were forced to go through and i i personally think that's not the right way for me, when I have a house officers, I don't scold them. I just go like, you know, this isn't the right way. And hopefully they get the message. If they don't, then I gotta tell them again and again. Because you gotta inspire somebody to become somebody better. Not demotivate the person and hope that person gets better. It doesn't work that way anymore. It's not the last generation where you cane the shit out of a guy and the guy says, oh, I'm sorry and I won't do that again. Now it's you cane the shit out of a guy and the person goes like, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you when I become bigger. And I'm gonna eat everyone up and beat the shit out of them for, because that's what I was going through. And um, you can agree with me, you can disagree with me. I don't care. That's my opinion. I'm just trying to say, if you have some common sense don't be an asshole. Be somebody who's reputable, who can be respected for being somebody kind-hearted and just in what they do. If you can't do that, then probably your brain cells are really the size of an amoeba. And um, you'd feel free to comment down below if you disagree, or if you're one of those house officers who've gone through that, or even in any other career path, you're a junior staff and you've gone through that, I do recommend that you just share with me. I'll probably bring it up next time. But if there really is a lacking in your capabilities, in your work, um, then I do suggest that you buck up and show that you're up to the standard. Because if you really are, there's no reason to fault you. Four out.